morning. Well, I've never started a video going backwards before. But then again, I've never started a video following a Lycan Hypersport either. Ha ha ha! This is gonna be a phenomenal day. So, this is the one that I've been waiting for. This is the video that for me is truly kicking off 2017. We are heading up a road called Jebel Jays, uh, which is in Raz Al Khaimah. And it basically looks like the Middle Eastern Stelvio Pass. It's the Col de Turini of Raz. Um, yeah, and we couldn't have picked three more interesting cars. Well, certainly, certainly one of them. The, the, the Lycan Hypersport. So, the last time that I saw this car uh, was in uh, Fast and Furious, or should I say Furious 7. Um, and it was uh, hurtling itself through a pair of skyscrapers, as you do. But now we get to play with ourselves. Today, I'm just gonna immerse you in the whole experience of what it's like being on the road and an incredible driving road in 650S Spider, 488 Spider, and a Leica Hypersport. Let's hit it. Naturally, our first stop of the morning is the petrol station. Uh, all cars do need fuel, but particularly our two, the 488 and the uh, 650S after yesterday's journey. And today, because we're heading deep into the mountain ranges, we're gonna be quite far away from any other fuel source. So first thing, fill up, because once we get out there, we're gonna be miles away from anything, which I can't be more excited about. And to be joined by something like this, is an incredibly special occasion. Just look at it. It's the first time I've seen it just now joining us on the road. It's just got so much presence and it looks like nothing I have ever seen. Look at the sculpture on this thing. These layers of carbon. Oh, but so far, take it from me, this is absolutely awesome. Oh, this is 
stuff. <laughs> still on the car so that's a bonus wow here he is let's just have a word with him and see what he thinks oh i'm in the way of his drift zone hold on a minute Hold on, hold on. Oh my god. Oh wow. Ollie, where is he? Come and talk to me about that drive. Come and talk to me. I feel like we're we still should, coming down off that. I feel like we should we should be arrested. We, we should be arrested for that. that oh, honestly, I've had some drives. It's, it's hard to exaggerate enough how that was probably the drive of my life. The drifts this guy was getting. I'm, I'm still coming down off that. I feel like I've been on a genuine like thrill ride. That is something. Something. Like, it's like it. the world's longest street track. Yeah, it really is. All of that is three lanes wide. So think of that snaky strip down there as what a motorway would be like yeah. in England. 
it's sort of international race circuit wide. <laughs> it costs 80 million dollars <laughs> to build and it's purely a driving road because it doesn't lead to anything. Well this is it, it goes there and that's it. That's a dead end, isn't it? So it's pure indulgence. So right now it's not finished, apparently they're building an extra 10k. <laughs> In addition to that, so which only means we've got to come back next year. Yeah, okay. Really? Yeah. Done, job done. Whew. Good God, that was one hell of a ride. This is it, we are at the summit of Jebel Jays. The funny thing about it right now is, and I guess the best thing about it right now, that it actually doesn't lead to anywhere. <laughs> um, namely because the road is still in progress, it's still being built. So as far as access roads go to, Right now, its only purpose is just to drive for driving's sake. Uh, of course, it's been extra empty for us because the police very kindly closed it. But in terms of roads, it ticks all the boxes. It's relatively safe because, well, first of all, it's three lanes wide uh, and there's big concrete barriers blocking off these incredible cliff faces. The tarmac is amazing and beautifully smooth with loads of grip and the views are out of this world stunning. Today, I guess, has been such a bucket list moment having access to a road like this but closed so we can just privately play around on it it's been a phenomenal experience so uh, yeah massive thank you to Raz Alkema for organizing this anyway guys 2017 is just getting warmed up thanks for watching I'll see you next time ciao